What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria Suazo. If you're new to this channel, welcome. In today's video, I'm basically going to be showing you guys how I do my at-home manicure. It's super simple, super easy. You don't need like a gel machine, nothing like that. It's very, very easy. I just want to give a quick disclaimer. I am not a nail tech by any means. I am not a professional nail tech. But I figured like I started to really do my own nails recently. I used to get gel like every two weeks. But I wanted to save some money, so I tried to find a routine that kind of works for me when it comes to doing my nails, and I found it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, this is kind of different to put on my channel. I usually do a lot of lifestyle, fashion, faith kind of related videos, but I asked on Instagram if you guys wanted to see my at-home manicure, like routine tutorial type of thing, and you guys said yeah. So I wanted to share it with you guys how I basically do my nails, how I go from like nasty rusty old nails to very clean nails and yeah before we get on with this nail tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can stay tuned with everything else that i post here on this channel give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you want to know how to get very fresh easy natural nails at home let's get on with the nail tutorial so all i'm doing is starting off with some warm water and i'm just placing my hands in the warm water and this is just basically to kind of get my cuticles a little dampened so that when I clean the dead skin, it's easier for it to come off. So now I just kind of dry it off on some paper towel just like this. Now I'm going to be going in with this Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. And this is basically just like a gel formula that allows your cuticles to be a little bit more like wet and easier to take off. You place it on your cuticles just like a tiny amount. Just like this, same in here. Now I'm just kind of um, spreading it around into my cuticle, just like this. And while that's kind of like working, I'm going to be taking this tool right here, which is kind of like pushes back cuticles, and I'm going to start pushing my cuticle back. And by doing this, I'm already like taking care of some of the dead skin that's there. Next, I'm gonna be using this little tool here. I don't know what it's called, but basically I know that it takes away the dead skin around your cuticles. Sorry, I just moved the paper towel, but I love the feeling of having just clean nails without any dead skin so i'm going to be using this i want you guys to see up close how good this cuticle cutter or whatever it's called works i literally am just eating away at my dead skin putting that instant cuticle remover on my nails made it super easy to get rid of these cuticles look at all that dead skin on there so i'm just going to keep cleaning up my cuticles So I'm pretty much done with that part. I kind of just cleaned up my cuticles a little bit and made them like a little bit more healthy and cleaner. If my nails were super, super long, I would cut them and then file them. But right now I think they're at a decent length. So I'm just going to start filing them. This is the filer that I use. It's just a black filer that I got from Walmart. I like using these instead of the blocked filers because these are much more strong and do their job better. So I like to start filing on the corners of my nails like this. I like more of a squared look. So I file the sides and then I just file the top squared, just like straight. So these are my nails filed down. They're much smaller and much more shaped. And these are my nails not filed down, like super long and just not even. So basically that's what how I file my nails. So now that my nails are all shaped, I try to compare them side by side to make sure that they're the same length, same shape. And then wherever I need to make adjustments, I kind of just go in and fix um fix them. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands because there's a bunch of dust everywhere and I need to have my hands 
cleaned. Now that my hands are all cleaned, I can see what I'm working with much better. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this block. I'm gonna be using side three, which is basically to buff the nail. So I'm just gonna basically go over everything that we just filed and I'm just gonna buff it so that the nail polish goes on much smoother. Now that the nails are all nice and buffed, now we're gonna go in with starting to paint our nails. I'm gonna go in with this nail polish right here by Sally Hansen, and it's just a top coat that has argan oil in it. And I'm gonna be using this as the base of my nail polish. All the time I use nail polish, I always like to kind of take off the excess by just moving it side to side at the top of the nail bottle, starting at the cuticle and then moving upwards to the nail. Just a very, very light layer of this nail polish. So while this top coat is kind of drying, I like to use the tool that we used before, but I'm gonna be using this part of it to kind of clean my nail because, you know, our nails can be kind of trifling under there. So I'm just gonna clean out like any dirt that I feel like I have. Now that we have the top coat kind of dried up on the base, now we're gonna go in with nail polish. I'm gonna be using this nail color and it's also by Sally Hansen and it's called Daisy Dreaming. It's super cute, it's like a nice pastel uh, purple. Basically, we're just gonna put this all over the nails. So I just like to put a very light layer, um, not too, too much, just light because we're gonna be going over with some coats and then if you put too much on the first coat, then you get air bubbles and that is so frustrating so I just like to put very little bit in the beginning and then you kind of just build it up as you go but you always want to start very close to the cuticle and then work your way up okay so this is the first coat and I kind of just let them dry and it looks pretty messy but then it's gonna get like nice and more opaque when we put the second coat on. I think I only have to do two coats with this nail polish. This is what two coats looks like and it looks super opaque. I love it. This hand is already dry and I literally just did it. But I think that just so that I have a little bit more of opaque, I'm gonna go in more with one more coat. Okay, so this is basically how the nails look. It looks super messy, but I'm gonna show you guys basically what I do to kind of clean them up. But before we do that, I'm gonna go on and put some top coat on it. And this, I'm gonna use the same one that I used to kind of put on my base and I just love this top coat because it adds such a natural shine to the nail like y'all this looks like gel honestly okay so now that the nails are kind of basically dry this is what they're looking like. They're kind of like messy on the side. So this is what I do to kind of clean up the edges if you're not gonna shower soon. <laughs> so I take some nail polish remover and some Q-tip and I just put the Q-tip inside the nail polish remover. And then I just start cleaning around my nail.
Okay, so once the nail polish is like cleaned around, this is basically what you're left with. I think the rest is too risky to try to clean because it's super close to the actual nail bed. So you don't want to mess that up. I would just leave that for the bathroom and you can just kind of clean it better in there when you shower or when you wash your hands. Now I'm going to be using this Sally Hansen Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil. And this is probably my favorite step about doing my nails. This is basically how my nails look like when I put the oil on them, the cuticle oil. They just look a lot more natural and a lot more they're alive <laughs> before they look super dry and just super like, you know, dry. So yeah, that's basically it for this nail tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned with all the other videos that I post on this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I think that this manicure was super easy, very simple, and yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!